Hey there, everybody. It's Thursday, November 13th. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jason Boyer, and I want to take the time to talk to you about something you're going to be hearing a lot more about in the coming days and weeks ahead. It is called sudden stratospheric warming. Why do we need to worry about this? Well, what it is, first of all, is sudden warming in the stratosphere. We're talking up closer to the poles, the North Pole or the South Pole. And this usually happens in wintertime. We can see this happen. And why is it important is because it can disrupt what you have probably heard of before, the polar vortex. The polar vortex is essentially a fast moving circulation, like a jet stream in the stratosphere though. And it keeps most of the cold air locked up near the Arctic Circle. When there's a disruption in the polar vortex, it usually slows it down or it can even reverse direction. When that happens, the jet stream can become erratic, okay? And when that happens, you can get polar plunges to be more common or more frequent, all right? So that's why we care about sudden stratospheric warming. We're talking six to 30 miles above our heads, what the air temperatures up there are doing. Okay, and that is why, because it can lead to some cold weather outbreaks and snowy periods as well. So in the coming weeks, there is expected to be a sudden stratospheric warming event. So towards the end of November into December and maybe through much of December, things could be much different in terms of it being colder and possibly snowier in places across the eastern U.S. These are some of the past sudden stratospheric warming events we have experienced in Asheville. And you go back to 2018. We had seven straight days of very cold temperatures. The average low temperature for January 1st through 7th was 10 degrees. The average high those days was only 28. This one though, you might remember more prominently because it happened right before Christmas in 2022. So not that long ago, we had another sudden stratospheric warming event that led to the average low temperature those days, the 23rd through the 27th of 10 degrees, a little better on that high, but it only averaged 35. That's the result of sudden stratospheric warming events. Eventually, that can lead to polar plunges. We'll be talking more about it and see how it plays out. Right now though, you can see some hints of it because in the eight to 14 day outlook, this is headed for the week of Thanksgiving. Look at the colder air that's starting to form out here in the West. So that might be the beginning or the end of what we have as a warmer weather. So we're gonna be seeing some big changes, I think, by the end of the month. Hey, that's the update I wanted to give to you. Hope you learned something and we'll see how it plays out. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe.